My vagina was supposed to be a penis. Malcolm was going to live up to his name and change the world. He will be determined and fierce. He will speak fire and the world will listen. Yup, that's the way my parents planned it anyway. And when I was growing up, my father even called me his son sometimes. And I would laugh because I thought it was funny that he called me a boy. But the truth is, my daddy adored me. He accepted me either way. But little did I know that my love of his acceptance would later be twisted into this yearning for men to set my worth and make me visible. So instead of having a penis, I was just surrounded by him. My brother, my three brothers, my father, one of only two girls and a gang of cousins. In my neighborhood, there had to be like 50 million boys, but I don't think they realized I was a girl until I was like 12 years old. And then I was confused like, why all of a sudden are they always trying to touch my butt? Anyway. You know how boys love their penises? Well, in my family, all you heard about was the specialness of the Thomas penis. I mean, since I was supposed to have one, I just took on the pride of having one. Like if I was a boy right now, I'd be going around saying, you want to see my joint? That Thomas penis gave me penile mentality. Every dude I have ever met has at some point told me I'm a boy. Meanwhile, there's a tribe of strong-willed, straight-shooting women on my mother's side of the family. You don't want to know the truth about yourself? Do not visit these women. It is not a game. Your hair is too short. Why is your face breaking out like that? Do not talk to your mother like that. She is my child. Mmm, watch the blood. You can't just be having babies with anybody. <laughs> now, the good news is, these women age well, and so they learn to balance that honesty with wisdom. Don't let me ever find out you are driving around with less than half a tank of gas. Girl, no need to lose all of that weight. Listen, baby, as you get older, things on your body start to sag, and you're going to need that fat to fill it back in. Oh, so you think I'm crazy now? Hey, read these brochures about menopause and then keep living. As I kept living, I came to learn that a smart mouth was not the only thing the matriarch passed down. Oh no, we have the magic of the CBC. That's right, come back coochie. Now, <laughs> I won't get into, many, into too many details, but let's just say it is in our blood. I mean, the dope things in our family have men buying them new teeth. Now that's the power of some comeback coaching. So, here I am with the Thomas penis, comeback coochie, and a nub. Now, I always thought two hands were kind of overrated. There's nothing that I need two hands to do. I have three children, my vagina bought them here just fine, and my nub hasn't killed them yet. I can drive with one hand. If the cell phone rings, I just switch to nub driving. Two-handed women pay an arm and a leg just to get their nails done. I pay $8. $5 in these recession prices, and don't even let me get my toes done because they just go ahead and throw in these four fingers for free. <laughs> so having one hand hasn't really been a big deal to me, but it bothers people. Now, I don't know if it's because the nub is shaped like a penis, but it has definitely had a huge impact on my vagina. For example, my vagina would get all excited if I saw a fine guy across the room. Mmm, here he comes too. Looking at my chinky eyes. Do I 
passing down to check out my thighs. Mm. He just realized he can see my ass from the front. <laughs> and as he gets closer, he notices the nub. And my vagina is like, no! Just ignore it. Imagine the massages it could give you. Anything. Just please get that look out of your eyes. He comes over, and it's too late. Because he walks over and talks to one of my girlfriends. Pretending like he came all the way over here to holler at her. When him and me both know the deal. And now my vagina is pissed and cussing out the nerve. Use a cock blocking son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then you had those men who thought they were doing me a huge favor by saying things like, mm, God sure gave you enough body to make up for that missing hand. And now my silly little vagina wants to get all excited and now praise the nub. Girl, you are so good at bringing attention to your body's more useful parts. You see, my sexual prowess was my identity, my worth. Just like men. Yep, I said it. When a woman runs around doing her thing, we say she has low self-esteem. She doesn't know her worth. She doesn't love herself enough. But let a man do it, and we say he's a lion. Oh, he's just being a man. And I think that belittles men as if that's all they really are. Because it is, in fact, low self-esteem to get your manhood, your joy, and most of your comfort from how wet you can get your penis. So because I had penile mentality, which made the vagina stay at war with the nub, this is why my self-esteem was shattered when the comeback coochie couldn't keep anybody from lying and cheating on me. When my own lion-like prowess couldn't keep me from lying to men to try to control their opinions of me. And when I realized that I actually believed that I needed a pocket full of dimes just to equal one good man, that's when I knew I had reduced men to fragments. And I had reduced myself to a hunter. A hunter who didn't even care to let them love me. Just show me you can ignore the nub. Just keep calling me even when I'm not even interested in returning your phone calls. Yeah, come back coochie has its place. Please don't get me wrong. <laughs> but there is nothing in the world like purpose punani. And this is where I woke up. Saying, I'm only using this body for spiritual purposes. Realizing I was sadly mistaken in thinking that this body could keep me from flying. It can't hold me down. In spirit, I am one with all creation, just playing my part. And every part is whole and lovely. So as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. The vagina, the nub, the penis in my brain are all one. Simply here to serve my spirit's will to shine. And a shining nub has swagger out of control. It gets kissed and lit and adored. But only by one who knows that purpose punani is a meditation. Saying stuff like, Go ahead, baby, you just lay back. I'm gonna meditate while I dine, and that's gonna manifest our goals. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the nub is definitely connected to the vagina. <laughs>